Gitarja leads Indonesia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. The Majapahit warrior queen led her army in person and brought the Majapahit Empire into a golden age, establishing a legacy that extended to future generations. Indonesia's unique ability is called Great Nusantara. Coastal tiles provide minor adjacency bonuses for holy sites, campuses, industrial zones, and theater squares. Entertainment complexes give an extra amenity if they're adjacent to a non-lake coastal tile. Their unique unit is the Jong, which replaces the frigate. It is faster, and all the units in its formation gain its movement speed. It gets extra combat power if it's in a formation. Their unique improvement is the Kampung. Build these in coastal tiles adjacent to a water resource. It provides housing, production, and food for each adjacent fishing boat. It can be improved later in the game through further tech research. Guitarja's unique ability is Exalted Goddess of the Three Worlds. Naval units can be purchased at a discount using faith, and religious units pay no movement cost to embark or disembark. Also, coastal cities get bonus faith. Indonesia is most effective settling many small land masses, like on an island plates map, or their true start location. They can build up strong cities where most other civs would struggle to get a foothold. Make sure you're using your navy for greatest effect with Indonesia. It'll prevent your cities from being taken by water, and it'll give you the ability to spread your religion, or just conquer the world. Can you bring your people to dominate sea and land? How will you lead Indonesia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?